clip in this is cool this is cool all right yeah let's go maybe look at this that's pretty when do we start how do i look what are we listening to want me to turn it this way all right. Can't show the logo. Welcome into DIT Season 2, brought to you in part by Coors Light. Tap the Rockies as well as Truly. Menards um, and Hooters. All right. Welcome into DIT Season 2, Episode 1. It only took us uh, about four hours of getting ready this morning. Today is what is it? Sunday, Sunday, Sunday night took us four hours to get ready this morning, and then had to wait two hours before we could go on right now. Um, welcome in DIT season two. God bless America. Oh my God, what is what is going on? Like this is this is the real deal, right? You know, um, for those of you who've been have have wondering like what we've been doing, we've been doing a lot. This is the first time uh, in season in in this uh, season. Well, this epi- this this career of the show that we are doing a. Uh, Hello. He said, turn the mic around. I think I'm ready after all that stuff. The shit and caboodle. I don't care anymore. All right, here we are. We're live. Welcome to DIT season two. Season two. First time we're on camera. This season's a little bit different. Brought to you in part by Menards and Coors Light. Jelly Man Coffee. And a ton of others. That I just don't feel like talking about. Oh, Hooters. Here we go. We had some uh, Hooters. We had some uh, Hooters Mild. Hooters Mild. Um... Wings, pretty good. Used Uber Eats uh, today. I haven't used them in a while. It was pretty good. wasn't bad. wasn't bad at all. Um, so some of the new features. Let the first and foremost, welcome to season two, DIT episode one. It's going to be two episodes per month. The second episode, <clears throat> um, each well each month there will be one of just me, and then there will be an episode with a guest. I don't know. That's what we're doing. Everybody's like, what are you up to? What are you up to? What's everybody doing? We don't... What have What have we been up to? We've been up to a lot. And there, there's a little bit of a new format here this year for those of you who are wondering what the hell I'm doing. This DIT is here. It's like, this is the set. We're in Studio J remote location. High up top. The, the Egyptian pyramids. We're up there. We're really high. And... These are filmed, can only be filmed, the rule is, on Sundays. So it's Sunday night. Um, the weekend is, 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 is really coming to a close here. Anyhow, welcome in. Season two. What have we been up to? I don't know. What have we not been up to? You know how our seasons run. We run from May. May 1, Illuminati birthday, all the way to Halloween. The evil, the evil spirits. Producers are quiet. They're in the background. We've got three here. Dolores, Larry, and 
Steve. There goes Steve's phone. Put your phone away. <clears throat> um, for those of you who are wondering why I'm holding the mic, it'll be a variation of me. Um, you know, kind of, uh, what do you call it? It's setting it up here, setting it down here. We're going to get a mic cover here because the people don't want me to have shore showing the, the brand shore, which is kind of fucked up. If you think about it from like a product placement standpoint, because we have so many product placements that, you know, some are legit, some aren't, we leave it up to the viewers to, to figure out which ones are real. Um, but again, sponsored by Menards, Coors Light, Truly, Casamigos. Excuse me, no, Casamigos doesn't sponsor this show, do they? No, they don't. Yeah, they only they sponsor uh, the other show, which is technically a rival in the podcast industry. Why did I agree to do the Hashmark show? Do we remember? Was I bored? Did I need something to do in the off season? Whatever. Anyways, so. DIT, I'm really happy it's back. It's satisfying. We've had a lot of people that have been asking about it. And uh, quite frankly, quite frankly, there's a lot to talk about. There's a lot to talk about. There's a lot to talk about, John. No, I'm not doing a Trump. I'm not, I'm not really doing any impersonations at all. And when we talked about, you know, what, we, what were we going to do for the first episode? I was like, I should probably do... Um, something where it's just me talking to everybody you know we've had a lot of requests for the show to come back the show was on hiatus for quite some time due to um multiple reports of negligence and we had to go off the air which basically is molding the show now okay it's two two episodes a month one with the guest you know one without and if we've got enough, it'll be it'll be just me, or excuse me, it'll be it'll be a guest twice a month, or some variation, because there always has to be some sort of a rant uh, by me. And you know, I don't even want to dwell too much on the past of what the show was, where we were going, what we were doing. Uh, but there's a couple things I want to talk about. So producers. Uh, I'm sitting down with Larry yesterday. Steve, bring, Steve brought up a great point. Uh, what do you want to open with? Season two. And I'm like, you know what? We were discussing um, Illuminati, right? Uh, May 1. Apparently, that's the Illuminati birthday. We got to bring in Ricky Fontaine for that. Ricky's doing well. Ricky's doing well. Thanks for asking. Um, first and foremost, I can't believe it's been over a year from the start of DIT to everything that's going on right now. And this year, I feel like we've reached a pinnacle where we're going to just go places where we're supposed to go. Uh, Hashmarksports.com exclusive. You can find anything. If YouTube ever shuts down, that's where everything will be. For now, we are on YouTube, too. You can check it out. Uh, everything's going to be here. You know, everything's going to be on Hashmarksports.com. So anyways, let's get right into DIT. And for those of you who don't know what the hell I'm talking about, go check out uh, the Hashmark Sports Network, hashmarksports.com. It's the last time I'll, I'll bring it up. Uh, anyways, so what do we want to open up with? Real quick, Hooters, Handsome Hooters Hot Wings. Uh, they were the, 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 the boneless, mild, pretty good. Uh, and then we also got some great uh, cheeses here, uh, cheeses and crackers and sausage from uh, the Oberly uh, family down in Missouri. Really good. Uh, and that's, that's Sunday dinner. Kids are sleeping. Things are well. We don't need to talk about the snowblower. Snow season's over. It was pretty, uh, snow season was, was pretty weak this year. Snow season was pretty weak. Um, and it really didn't matter. It didn't even, it didn't garner any sort of uh, TikTok, it, you know, any sort of social media or whatever. It, it just garnered none of that. Um, but I did want to, so what are we going to talk about? Get on track. I want to just open up with this. And, and I'm going to be quick. I'm not going to be, you know, um, long on this. But just give me an explanation on, on where COVID went. Like, just give me an explanation on the, on the last two years. Just give me an answer. Like, seriously, what the hell happened? 
you know, and, and a lot of this goes for, you know, people who were growing up in the nineties and, and even in the eighties and, and, and even going farther back seventies and sixties where, you know, you, you got sick, you did your thing. And when DIT was, we were kind of kicking off, it was kind of the start of COVID. And then we went into hiatus. We, we, we shut it all down right when I think COVID COVID hit. Right. So, um, to see everything that happened was just fucking weird from wearing masks to, to, uh, uh the, the, the shots, the stories, the stories that, that are, you know, people that were either battling diseases or had something wrong or were already taking medications on a daily basis, Right go and take the the vaccine um and ha and have a, an ill effect and 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 damn near kill them i i made a comment to a couple people i i said and again everything's anonymous here but i said it's safe to say you didn't get the booster and uh he, he said he said no yeah I, I didn't get the booster so you know <laughs> I, I I'm very open. I got the first shot, and I don't even know if it was anything. I, I don't know if anything went in. I didn't feel anything. Um, my wife got sick the next day, typical like kind of flu shot thing. And you know, we kind of waited on the boosters. We we saw things unfold. And my my only question in this whole thing is 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 where did it go? And don't tell me, you know, oh, oh, we did a great job of of containing it and, and making it something. Because but I what I don't think so. And it's sad to see people like I'm not hating if you if you wear masks and there's obviously certain situations where you should wear masks. Don't get me wrong. And and you know um, I think that's helped, I guess. I don't know. I, 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 I probably shouldn't even have said that, but you know, there's gonna be people pounding the comments. You think the fucking masks helped? I think in certain situations, if, if somebody's sick and it stops a particle, I mean, maybe it does its job, it, you know, if, and more importantly, if it gives you a better safe, um, safe sense of well being, and you, you feel happy or whatever the fuck, you're good to go. You know, wear a fucking mask. I don't care. Um, you know, maybe it worked bad, good, good for you because you had bad teeth or you're, in, you're insecure about uh, smiling, which I once was. That's a, we could do a whole podcast on that. Masks in general, I would say don't work. Okay. Now, I, I know people that work in, in the industry where they see people from, you know, outside the country and they wear masks and that's good. You should, I don't know. I have no fucking clue. And that's what I'm talking about. I'm going in a circle about this. I'm going in a loop. I'm in a, I'm in a looper. Get out of it. We're getting out of it. That's all I got to say about it. Where did it go? Like, can anybody just like question that? And, you know, I find myself a lot of times when I talk to people about it that, and they start going down this route of, well, we did a good job containing it or, well, we, you know, we, I'm just, I say, yeah, you're right. And I just walk away. And I've purposely stayed away from that. I've purposely stayed away from it, believe it or not, even though I do, you know, shows and shit on sports and gambling and, and all that crap. So um, before I forget, big shout out to Plantronics. I mean, these headphones I'm wearing right here, not only the, um, the these, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go real quick. Here. These headphones, they have noise cancellation. They have a lot of really good things. Right. You know, when you're in an airplane, they actually can charge them up and they've got all these really cool capabilities. They're probably a six year old model. I don't even know what they are. Plant Tronics. They were expensive at the time when I got them. And the reason I say this, because I was a low budget, you know, low budget guy working in the value added reseller space uh, at a great company. And the, I got, you know, guy, guy, guy hooked me up with them. Great rep. Probably still there today. And, uh, anyways, long story boring. Um, I ran these over with my van. 
and they still work. I feel like they work better now than they did before. So shout out to Plantronics. Anyways, where did COVID go? And then, and then they then they tried Omicron. Didn't go didn't go far. And then you have everybody out of the fifth dimension coming in. I'm waiting on an electrician. I told my wife today, I said, you've got to find the electrician today. Okay. We've got an electric we've got an electrical problem right now. It's not too bad. I'd say it's mediocre but sorry i keep hearing all these cars it's weird sometimes sunday nights outside the studio can get really weird anyway so you know i told my wife i said you gotta find out you gotta find a fucking electrician for this job i'm not doing this so she's on that one <sighs> yo uh They try stopping me, but they can't fucking see. Yo. Oh. Yo. What up, man? Welcome in. Welcome in. Take a seat. Here's how I'm going to go here. We got season two, episode one, right here, right here, right here. And just, just take a seat. Got one minute. He'll be on. He's coming on. He's coming on. He's coming on. Let's take a seat. Let's take a seat. Don't change the lightning strikes go boom. Uh, they shock you until your mouth goes zoom. Uh, they hypnotize the fifth dimension back. Don't skip the fourth, that's when you manifest it all back. Uh, they want to hear season two, number one. I'm gonna release an album until they ain't got the fucking funds. Yeah, want to have fun, no lease and bound shit. Clothes, don't forget the strings and things you found the jails, jewelry. Uh, yeah, the craftsman beasts and hit the streets. Mechanics always fixing me. Uh, Menard's koozie sitting on the Coors Light Beach. Feats is streeting up. Tampa lights crossing the bridge. I'm on the plane coming back like I was with the fridge. Uh, 72 reasons why I can't win the title. It was 85, man. I was born, but I couldn't deny it. Uh, we go for miles and miles. We don't even understand. I don't write the raps down. I record them and then I go to plan. Uh, yo, the new music. Uh, they want to know how I rap, uh, they want to know how I warm up, I just spit fucking lyrics until they hear it, until my throat can't even spare it, uh, the frog was bouncing, he was fucking ribbing and spitting his tongue out and the snake came out in the glittering, I closed the door and I locked it, my kid sat outside before he knocked on it, heard me fucking rapping, yeah, that's what it was about with the Troy built blowers. Uh, on the two prank springs with the motor fucking rolling. Yeah, oil was stumping out. Bleach banging out the black shirts with the spots looking like the cosmos. Moon couldn't stop me because I was rapping like Grazos. Call me Zeus because I didn't have a clue. So motherfucker flipped it up and said we were playing guess who? Uno, motherfucker. Skip and then draw two. I'm going to reverse on your ass and drop a bomb like eight dudes. Uh, yo, I what? The bitch you called last night at number eight. Yeah, it's all wide. I take a picture for your mama. Put it on the fucking TikTok. I'm going to hit the snare drum with the rocks and I'm and Coors Light, brought to you in part by Coors Light. Uh, what happened uh, this weekend? Anything interesting? The NBA playoffs are kicking off. You know, we always like to talk about that. Who gives a shoot? NBA playoffs are fun. The Bulls are out of it. Who cares? Chicago Bulls had many issues. Um, the Bulls had a lot of problems. The Bulls can, <laughs> are going to continue to have some problems, but, but Zach Levine's gone. So that's not going to be as big of a concern. And I'm not too worried about that, but I'm not here to talk about that. That's not the IT. It's not a sports show. Let's get back to it, folks. Let's talk about let's, uh, Trump. Let's talk about kids' clothes. Uh, I can't even do it, Trump. Kids' clothes and um, just when you think you've had enough, just when you think you've seen it all, just when you think you've done the most laundry you've ever done in your life 
there's always uh, loads that are bigger. That's what she said. And there are, um, as you get older, you have kids, so you're doing multiple, multiple laundries. And once you have kids, you know, you're folding smaller clothes. Now, nobody, this is, this is the one thing that I just need to get off my chest real quick. Now, there are multiple things that I want to get off my chest here. And I'm going off script here. We've got all this shit here. At, where is it that I'm supposed to talk about? I'm not going to talk about half of it because I don't care. But I will tell you this, that kids' clothes should be um, – they should be made a certain way that if they're inside out, they're still the same as the other way around. Like, you shouldn't be punished as a parent taking those clothes and putting them in uh, the wa- – the washing because every time you take kids' clothes off, they come off they they come off inside out. Like there's no way of helping it. You know, you just they put their arms up like they're on a roller coaster. You pull the shirt up and that's it. And it goes right into the hamper. Now some people are saying, well, there's you know you can you can take uh you you can turn it inside out before you put it back, Dave. You can yeah, I get that. I understand that. But that was a big transition for me to begin with. You know, I always un- I always put the clothes away into the closet or the drawer folded and in the correct way it was supposed to go. Much like a fireman, I want to be ready if I got to go. And I'm not saying that I'm going to forget what's on the shirt, but there could be a situation where you forget what's on a certain shirt. If you've got multiple red sweatshirts, folks, how the hell are you supposed to know what red shirt is right? So I met my wife and now she's got me on the, it doesn't matter. Like her clothes, I hang up in her closet as is like inside or out. I hang them up. I I don't care. I used to care, but I've saved significant time. Laundry was an issue here for a while. It became backed up. It was a problem. It was similar to backed up sewage. We were backed up on laundry. It got to the point. It got so bad with laundry that we had to stop starting new loads until we folded the other ones. Like that's never happened in my laundry career. Not once, not once. So all I did all weekend in celebrating Illuminati's birthday, uh, which is coming up here in about an hour. It's Sunday night here. Was it May 1st yet? No, April, whatever. Anyways, I did laundry for fucking 72 hours and be, and got so high on doing laundry that I started rolling through the house looking for shit to clean. I was on a mission. So if I saw a towel that was dirty, you know, that we had used for the kid's bath or something, I picked it up, I put it in the hamper, boom, got that. What's next? Find a sock, you know, who, whose sock is this? Like, I'm looking for shit. And it got, it got out of control. I got out of control. I, I, you know, man, it had to be stopped. I was cleaning shit that like you can't even put in a washer. So uh, we had big, uh, I, I was on a high. I was on a high. So it, it, it had to stop and it stopped. <clears throat> so I, I was done with that. And the laundry finally ended today. <sighs> now I will say there is no better feeling other than hitting a great golf shot, than finishing loads of laundry. Nothing. And staying on it, making sure the shit's done. Because now it's to the point where it's like, okay, you're wasting wasting a load, Dave. You're wasting a load. Because, um, again, that's what she said. But, again, only because there's no laundry to do. So now you just wait. Now you just wait. You know, what if you have a wet towel? I could throw it downstairs. There was always a load going. Now there's, there's no loads. Speaking of loads. No, we're not going there, you sickos. Speaking of loads, though, tide or gain, what family are you in? Go ahead and leave a comment uh, for, the, for the folks still listening here. If anybody's even made it this far, go ahead, click subscribe if you haven't here on Hashmark Sports, uh, Hashmark Sports Network on YouTube. Subscribe, like, 
See how I do it in the middle of the show? Everybody else does it at the beginning. They don't get it. See, you don't know when I'm going to do it. I throw it in there. Sometimes I don't even do it because I don't really care, but it's on my big board in front of me. Like, I got to do it. Subscribe, like the channel, and uh, we've got merchandise coming soon. We've met with distribution. Oh, don't read that. I'm reading too many notes. <laughs> here's how much we get our shit for and here's how much we charge you we're going to charge you i'll never forget the first meeting we had that was hilarious um ricky fontaine wanted to charge everybody 50 dollars for a hoodie i'll never forget two people um were reaching out and we're like hey you know where do i get a hoodie and we were kind of slowly making the hoodies you know as we were going and still going and um i remember it wasn't like I was getting anything for five, ten dollars, even fifteen dollars. You know, I was just buying these hoodies, and you know, uh, Rick was like fifty bucks, and then we never heard from the people again. You know, I was like, dude, you know, I mean, although we probably could, you know, I mean, we're not the NBA, we're not the NFL, but uh, uh, we, we're still making pretty good margin at fifty, even though I was buying them from, uh, you know, some 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 local place. Anyways, getting back to it, uh, I I think the original thing we were talking about was um uh, was was kids' clothes, which we'll get back to that. But on the tide gain front, you know, we've 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 always been a gain family and, and I've always been, you know, uh, I, I've been adamant about that. I talked about that a lot in season one, a uh, big gain family. And I've I've had this theory now that gain, we probably shouldn't use gain uh, scented as we get into summer because of the bugs and the bees. And it's just such a great scent. Now, I didn't believe the scent thing was true. So I was at the store. They didn't have any gain. I wasn't going down to the first level. And if you do, it doesn't matter. I'm just saying I got tied. I was like, you know, I, I, I haven't, haven't used Tide in probably, you know, fucking 15 years. I'm not a pod guy. We've talked about this. I'm not a pod guy. So we get the Tide. I, we put the Tide in and, and I will say gain is king. There, there's no scent with Tide. There is, but it goes away. Gain, gain is king. But gain to me is a winter scent and winter thing. You can't do it here in the Midwest, especially in August or September. You're screwed. You're going to get, you're going to get stung. I mean, last year the bees were unbelievable. I was in in my van, putting my kid in a van, going to play around a golf, and I got stung in my neck out of nowhere. They just boom, bam. Psst. Like what the, f like dude, I didn't do nothing. Was this bee on the end of his life? What was his day about? Why was his day so shitty? Why are you stinging me, pal? All right, can we get back on the air, please? I like to have fun. <laughs> can we get back on the air, please? Thank you, everybody, for dealing with what we've dealt with. I think now we've figured it out. We finally have our place where we're going to keep this every week. I'm not moving anything. We're back in Studio B. Studio change for guests. Oh, 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 oh. Cameras are rolling. Cameras are rolling. Let's go. We're back on the air here. Let's go. LSD are they on right now? Yeah, you can never, you can never tell. Okay, Grateful Dead on there. Let me finish, let me finish the story here um, uh, and, and just explain what the hell just happened here. Can we go up there? There you go. That's good. I want, I want down a little bit. There we go. Can we just push it back? Come over here. There we go. That's what I want. Cause I, I need to be back a little bit. This is, this is Studio B. Studio B is a uh very special studio uh this is kind of where it all began studio b <laughs> anyways this is where we're doing the show from now on we'll fix the lighting later i ain't even worried about it but i gotta i i have to finish this story because at this point if i don't finish this story then um you know it's gonna I, i'm never gonna finish this episode it's now going on 1 30 in the morning Sunday morning and I've changed four times obviously we had the power outage now I'm back anyways let me finish this story real quick so I get stung by the bee I'm in the Sienna and we're driving to the golf course this is before my son and I are going to the golf course we're going golfing and I decide to uh put him in the car just like normal right nothing nothing crazy nothing crazy 
and I got stung right like right here, and it was just it it, it sucked. So long story boring. Gain. I'm convinced you just can't have those scents rocking in, in like the summertime, man. The, the, the bugs are just going to be uh, ripping to it, and you can't do anything about it. So I'm going maybe no scent this summer. I'm a no scent guy. And then in the wintertime, I'll pick back, pick game back up. Again, leave your comments down below. I, I, I think we, we finished – well, we're coming full circle now. Uh, we've had – more power outages, Wi-Fi interruptions. I mean, we're going Liver King uh, Ethernet cord. I need that Liver King Ethernet cord. I'm not even putting my Ethernet cord like through the wall. Uh, I, I'm going straight through the window or out the door. The the freaking 1500 foot cord straight out here. We're having no interruptions. Uh, we're gonna have no problems because that's what we're gonna do here at DIT. End of story. I'm not messing with it anymore. I'm done. I'm done. <laughs> for those of you listening you can't even see what i'm doing i'm doing i was doing the thumbnail part of um uh, what, you, what you want Pro productions yelling in my ear do the thumbnail because what they do is they take a a snippet of it and they use it for the, the youtube thumbnail so when you when you're on youtube obviously there's images uh, over the the videos well that I don't know if you guys can hear that, but there's something going on outside. Hold on a second. See, there's no insulation in Studio B, and you can hear everything. Anyways, um, let's wrap this up because we got to go. This is this is episode one. It's going to be short, short and sweet. So, kids' clothes. Let's let's. Can we close the gap on on kids' clothes real quick? Because the, the the kids' clothes thing, to me, is asinine, and it needs to, to it needs to stop. I'm talking about the tags, the the tags that come on the kids' clothes. We've already talked about how we need to invent the reversible, you know, uh, shirt. We need to we, we we need the reversible shirt. The reversible shirt has to be done, and we'll figure it out. But you know, the, the tags that they put on these shirts. Now, I understand there's a lot of legal issues and, and shit that they got to follow. Right? They got to follow all protocol. You know, kids, you could die with this shirt if you wear this shirt and whatever, whatever. But I don't need to know how to fucking wash it. Nobody tumbles or, or nobody tumble dries. No, Nobody's tumble drying anything, especially kids' clothes. Nobody's tumble drying kids' clothes. I guarantee you that. Guaranteed victory. Talk to Ricky Parlay about it. And the one thing that we talked about earlier with Daft and, and the, 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 the expensive detergents that are just get rid of them. I mean, money schemes, scams. You don't need I'm convinced that stuff gives them the problems originally. It's reverse psychology, okay? You buy that dye-free, scent-free stuff. It messes their skin up. And then mentally, you feel like you can never go back to tide or gain. For those of you who don't have kids, that's fine. It doesn't matter. There's skin sensitivity issues. I mean, hey, where, 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 where's the conspiracy, people? And <clears throat> where... where I, we need one guy to comment here. Please comment. I, I want to talk to you about it. Come on the show. Like, tell me what I'm washing my hair with. I saw one time some guy was like, do you know what's in your shampoo? I'm like, fuck no. I just put it in there and, you know. He's like, dude, the shit, there's shit in there that they clean RVs with. Yeah, what do you want me to do, bro? What do you want me to do? Huh? Then I, I'm not going to go out and buy all this stuff. I'm going to do the research. And then you know what they say? Well, they hide it for a reason. <clears throat> I'm like, all right, hey, I ain't going down conspiracy lane, Jen. Okay? <laughs> no. We got to finish this episode, though. We're almost through it. We're almost through it. We had the middle part of the show where uh, they needed an audio test. I'm pretty sure I blacked out and did a freestyle. <clears throat> 
Yeah, just wait till we do uh, karaoke. Wait till we do karaoke again. That's going to be powerful. That's going to be powerful. The, the tags that are on kids' clothes are asinine. I fold the clothes. I got to, you know, put my hand through these, you know, so, and then I got a, this tag. Kids come up to me. They say it itches. They say it's soft. My wife says it's soft. They say it's not. Then I cut it, and but they've never had a problem. I, I used to have the cut, the post itch. You ever cut a tag off and have a worse itch? But that was the difference between shirts back then and shirts now. now. Nowadays, shirts have the stamp on the back, and then they have the tag on the side. It's like right over here. And then you got to cut it off. Like, I'm not reading it. <clears throat> no more. Uh, drinking water, by the way, for all you Starbucks haters out there. It isn't a Starbucks plastic cup, and it's tap water. There you go. Go ahead and tell me that the tap water is bad. All right, it's going to wrap it up here. Uh, episode 1, Season 2, DIT. I don't have anything else to say except one thing. Make sure you're getting your crabgrass eliminator and fertilizer down. If you've got a weed problem, weed and feed. If not, individual weed and feed. Walk around the, the yard and hit it. Don't give me this shit about Roundup. Use whatever you got to use. I don't give a shit. Just get the stuff that doesn't kill the grass. I'm Dick Biondi. No, that wasn't Dick Biondi. Who was that? Uh, I'm Casey Kasem. <laughs> He used to have a lawn report, didn't he? Uh, brought to you in part by Ace Hardware. Get your lawn fertilizer today and get their whole treatment today. Crabgrass remover, fertilizer, as well as fertilizer package. Weed and feed all for a great price. Can't beat it. They also sell Scott's and Naturescapes. Scott's uh, Naturescapes mulch. You can get it in a variation of colors. I get the dark brown. And thank you, uh, Ace Hardware and Naturescapes, Scott's, uh, for donating fifth. Teen bags of mulch to the house. We are going to put that out. But I'm following protocol on the mulch. I'm following protocol on the mulch. They say, don't put the mulch down unless you're going to get at least two to three days of dry weather. So we're waiting. It's too cold right now. It's too cold right now. It's too cold. I don't have, I don't have time for that. Did I just flip the image on myself? Look at this. <laughs> that was from the show earlier. Uh, that's pretty cool. Anyways, we're on here. Season one, episode, uh, season two. No, season two, episode one. Bye-bye, folks. Have a great night. We'll get the heck out of your way. What should we leave everybody with today? Because we're going to play the whole, remember last year I would like play clips of people talking? I don't even think I have those. Do I even have those cute? Left. You can hear it going knock, 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 knock. And that's, and that's fact check. Fucking juicy, succulent, not dry. So profound and disgusting. These people are so ass backwards, they don't even know.